it's a really unique special experience where you kind of get an insight and opportunity to dip your toes into lots of different parts of ecology, being surrounded by lots of like-minded people and experts in the field. I think it's really hard because you always read all these brochures and stuff that say, oh, it was the best experience and things, but this has genuinely been like the adventure of a lifetime. So my name is Dusan and I'm uh, the CEO and founder of a company called Biota and uh, we are working on biodiversity research and looking for smart conservation ideas either through biology or biotechnology and uh, we are also working a lot on uh, looking for solutions to climate change, trying to work out for this kind of habitats uh, how to rebuild ecosystems and you know how to best maybe give a conservation approach, uh, protect the species, uh, biodiversity in, in general, and uh, at the end also help uh, protected areas and the management uh, of such pro protected areas. And we use this cooperation with uh, Operation Valsia to get uh, a large number of hands from volunteers uh, to get this kind of monitoring and research uh, activities in high numbers because any kind of uh, data you need to collect, if you can collect it in a hundred times more uh, iterations, of course this data will be much more valuable uh, for the park and, and for the conservation in general. My name is James and I am the Dive Operations Manager here at the Croatia Marine Site in Silva. Students when they come here have the option of doing either the Paddy open water course or if they're already qualified to dive or if they don't want to dive and they want to snorkel, they take part in an ecology course run by the partner organisation which is 20,000 Leagues. On this ecology course they will be doing two dives or snorkels every day at a variety of different sites, helping the research team, the dissertation students and the partner organisation out with their data collection activities that they do here in Silver. We have perfectly clear water, not many dangers in the water, so it's a perfect training ground for people to do transects for the first time, quadrats for the first time, or even try diving for the first time. It's like when you do the surveys in the water, it, it's, it's a completely different feeling from on land. And it's like a whole new experience. And I guess because I've never done it before, that's why it's more intriguing. The feeling of becoming part of the nature when you're surrounded by the water, and that's what's always interested me the most. I would say that this was one of one of a kind experience that I would definitely want to do again. <laughs> I'm working currently for Biota and together with Opal, I'm junior staff member for uh, Biospeleology. The point of my position is to bring caves closer to the people so that students could find something new and to understand better the underground that it's usually covered. Here we have many uh, actual big plot of caves. So for example, this cave behind me is really good cave because it's bigger by the size. It has a lot of fauna. It has eight species of bats inside. Our actually target species now are crickets and we place the transect to which we are bringing the students so actually they can see how we uh, work with the methodology on the field. And as well we are bringing them more deep inside to see the siphon and actually the water level and yeah just to have some underground experience. So I think it's a fantastic opportunity for the students because they get hands-on in multiple different fields. So they get to try a little bit of everything. And um, yeah, that practical experience, putting the nets up, taking them down and just doing these things, repeating things over and over again is a good way to remember them. This kind of an experience for students, especially those that have just studied through the last few years of COVID, is like a completely immersive crash course in quite a few different taxa of ecology. So the birds, of course, is just one avenue that students can explore, but they're also able to sort of, I guess, 
put themselves into positions where they're learning directly about the survey methods. In a short space of time, they can tick a lot of boxes. That's really important when they're trying to apply for different jobs. I think it's really nice that students can come here. They've got not just us on the bird team, but a whole variety of different um, leaders on the different teams. And everyone has their own unique story about how they've navigated the conservation space. And so when they come to us and they'll ask us about how we got here, it's really interesting because they can hopefully see that whatever they're doing, if they're doing something to push themselves further into this industry, it's gonna have a big impact and it's gonna help them to get to wherever they wanna be because there's so much variety and so many different options available in the space. I'm here collecting data for my dissertation. Um, so I've been here for six weeks. Um, and I am looking at um, how or whether microhabitat preferences of the Hermann's tortoise changes with size, sex and age. What I've been doing for the past six weeks is um, basically going out, looking for tortoises whenever we found one, taking environmental data and then as well taking morphometrics of the, the individual and then we've been trialling a new tracking method which is essentially just attaching fluorescent powder in a bag to the tortoise and then just letting it go and then it sort of drags along the floor and it leaves the trail and then at night we, uh, we track them with UV torches um, so looking at distance and again sort of the microhabitats that it goes through. I've learned so much and it's definitely sort of I came into this a little bit aimless I think sort of not quite knowing what direction I wanted to go in, what species or if I wanted to do field lab or desk based and I think especially not only doing the practical side of it but also speaking with other staff members sort of their experiences and um, I think that sort of really helped to, to give me a little bit more focus in what I want to do and it's through this that I've sort of been able to solidify that thought. <laughs>